In Katana 5, rendering workflows previously introduced as Katana Foresight have been enhanced even further to bring you Foresight Plus. Artists can now start multiple live renders simultaneously and send them to a local machine or to the farm. Although this has previously been possible with preview renders, being able to do the same with live renders has huge benefits, especially when working with multiple shots or other variations within your scene. This new feature comes with a significant restructuring of how live rendering is handled inside Katana. As part of this restructure, attribute changes are now communicated to individual render processes, meaning that any changes will only trigger updates for the affected renders. This means your shot-specific lighting or look dev changes will only trigger updates for the affected live renders, so you don't need to worry about inaccuracies or being slowed down by unnecessary render updates. Because of this update, the Expression Syntax library has also been updated to include two new ways to access graph state variables. This new syntax can replace the previous but still supported project.variable syntax, but is essential when utilizing the Foresight Plus capabilities. Instead of accessing graph state variable values from the parameters inside the project settings, the new expressions grab the values from catalog items. This means that for each render, the expressions are evaluated to the values in the catalog items rather than the graph state variable values. And because of this, switching between different graph state variables or scrubbing through the timeline doesn't need to trigger a live render to update unless you want it to. These live render updates can be controlled by the new pinning feature also introduced to Katana 5. This addition to the catalog tab, represented by a tick box, allows artists to pin and unpin parameters for individual catalog items in order to have full control over what changes will or will not trigger an update. If you can't see a particular column in your catalog tab, you can right click to customize what columns are shown and from here you can also control which graph state variables and interactive render filters are visible here. Click to drag these columns into place so that you can keep the parameters that are most important at the forefront. By default, all these parameters are unpinned unless the renders were started using the Start Multiple Renders dialog. Pinning can be turned on by default by enabling the render variables pinned by default option in the preferences. When values are pinned, any changes made to the graph state variables or current frame won't trigger an update. Once a parameter is unpinned from a catalog item, the value can be overridden by making changes to the global settings. Once changed, the value will turn yellow to indicate an override and the live render will update. You can choose to unpin all parameters using the tick box at the front or make individual choices for each parameter. This is a really useful feature as you may want to switch between a few different shots for one live render while the others remain on a specific shot. Similarly, you may want to scrub through the timeline for one specific shot and ensure that your lighting is consistent across its entire length. This may not be necessary for other shots that don't involve as much range. As well as this, you now have the option to work in the context of your renders by syncing catalog items to the project settings. When enabled, the project's global graph state variables and current time will be updated to match whichever catalog item is chosen as the front buffer item, which is done by left clicking. This means that as long as this is enabled, you'll always be viewing your renders in the context of the rest of the project, which makes it much faster to work with multiple shots and you can avoid mismatches between the geometry in the viewer and the render. Foresight Plus makes multi-shot workflows even quicker and more efficient inside Katana by improving the iterative process.
artists no longer need to work on one single shot without knowing if their lighting looks consistent in the other shots. Katana 5 makes it easy to work on an entire sequence inside just one Katana project, while making per-shot overrides and seeing every change you make live inside Katana.